Hey Kevin here with another Flip and Dork Flips and Finds video where I show you different items to pick up real cheap thrifting and garage selling and I sell online for more money, mostly eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, sometimes word of mouth, things like that, but mostly online. So anyway, this video is slightly different than the others. What I want to do is just skip ahead to the one really good sale I remember that kind of finished out last year. And then in the next video, I'm just going to fast forward even more to this year when garage sale season started back up. So I'll still be a few months behind, but I think I can catch up because I'm like almost a year behind in all the old stuff and it's just not going to happen. But there was one sale. I want to show you the stuff I picked up because it was really cool. I ended up finding a bunch of vintage toys that sold really well, like really, really well right before Christmas. And then after Christmas for like two months, it was brutal, like really, really bad. The best thing I found was like old shoelace, or not old, they're new, but just a bunch of shoelaces at Goodwill for 50 cents each. As you can see, I have tons of these still left, like bags and bags of them. I mean, that's how bad it was over the winter. I was buying shoelaces, all right, thrifting, so it was not good. So anyway, when this season finally picked up, it got really good. Now, this is my best year so far ever, all right? And I have tripled the listings up. I'm selling more than I have before, and I've learned a lot and all that. So anyway, I started getting really stressed and kind of feeling anxiety a little bit of like, how am I going to get all these videos edited? I have like, I think the video I just shot earlier today, which is a totally different video, uh, is like number 58 or 59. So I have that many waiting on my computer. I, I can't catch up. 30 something of them at least or more are like over an hour long. So you got to watch the full hour. You got to find the pictures. You got to edit them in, all that kind of stuff. You got to let it render on a computer, then you upload, whatever reason, our internet is really slow now and it takes like 13 hours to upload a video, it's like way too long. It's just this massive amount of work that I, I couldn't do, so, all right? So someone in a video a while back said, why don't you just show like your best of or over the winter and then just go to present time. So I'm kind of doing that, except I just want to show the one sale, I, re I remember being good last year at the very end and then I'll just fast forward again to this year. And uh, for a while, you might see, you know, in the videos like, oh, remember I bought this three videos back and now I'm selling it. Well, you'll just have to see a picture of it, but eventually we'll catch up. So anyway, let me show you the really cool sale that kind of ended out last year, and then we'll skip ahead to this year. So anyway, this week starts off with a local item that I thought was going to be a really, really good flip, and it turned out to be a pretty bad flop. So let me show that to you first. Well, here is the first item to sell this week. It's a local sale. I really thought when I bought this that this was going to be a home run. It's a workout bench with built-in dumbbell storage. And it has, uh, what is it, threes, fives, eights, and tens, I think. If I remember right. Yeah, three, fives, eights, and tens. So, I mean, they're not real heavy weights, but uh, I figured there'd be lots of ladies out there that would want this. I mean, in great condition. Only issue I really noticed was it had a little bit of a tear somewhere. I don't even see it now. I don't know, somewhere on the edge of the um, upholstered part. Oh, there it is right there. A little bit of a tear there. And then the uh, old graphics were kind of dried out. But other than that, I thought it was going to be a great deal. So I, I talked the guy down to 35 bucks. I bought it at like this kind of rummage sale thing. And I thought I'd get $100 out of it or 75 or something like that. Well, it didn't happen. And... This week, I just decided to get rid of it, so I dropped it all the way down to 45 bucks. And finally, there's a lady that should be coming by. Actually, she's pulling in right now, so I'm only going to make 10 bucks in this thing. So it was a terrible deal, but at least it's going. Oh, well, that's how it goes sometimes. Okay, so the uh, lady come by. She did like it, paid the full $45, and they took it away, so at least I sold it. I only made 10 bucks on it. it was, oh, that was, that was not good. I really thought that's going to go for more money. So anyway, overnight and then this morning I had a couple of sales on eBay, so let me show them to you first. So the first one here is a shirt. I'll get it out for you a little bit so you can see the color. It's kind of like maroon, navy, purple, green, striped long sleeve shirt. The brand is uh, American Hero. It's kind of a western shirt, but it's not pearl snap or anything like that. Just more of like a western casual slash dress shirt, you know, not something you'd work in, maybe, I don't know, take your, you know, go out on a date and, or something like that. But anyway, uh, I got it for 50 cents, I think, at a garage sale. Um, this is back when I was buying lots of Pearl Snap shirts, Western shirts, because they were doing well. I've probably had this for about a year. 
I finally dropped the price so low, it finally sold. Had it down to $7.95. They also paid $4.10 shipping. So I believe that is $12.05 total. So, ah, not that great. But at least it's gone. Okay, next item that sold. Let's see if I can show it to you here in the box. This is three different sets of vintage Wilton uh, Christmas cookie cutters, all right? Now what's interesting about these, I got them at a sale, I've mentioned it before. I walked in and this lady had like tons of Avon, like vintage Avon stuff, tons of vintage Wilton stuff. She just had, it was like she got in her attic of all the stuff she's kept since the 80s and decided to put it in the sale. I was going through and trying to buy all the good stuff and then when I was done and went to pay for it, her daughter, who the, the lady was probably 60-something, her daughter was probably a little bit older than me. She's probably like low 40s or something like that. And her daughter is like, is there anything else you'd like to put on eBay? So they, they kind of figured out what I was doing. And the mom didn't care because I was just buying stuff. But the daughter, I guess, felt like, you know, they were... You know, oh, well, we could have got more money for that, but you're just going to resell it. Whatever. Anyway, these were some of the items I picked up. Uh, I looked them up, and it seemed like maybe they had some value. But then I got home and was like, oh, are they really going to sell? Well, they finally did. Now that Christmas season is, you know, it's starting to come around. People are, you know, they're probably actually going to buy them. So these are vintage Wilton cookie cutters. If I remember right, they are from 1984. Still brand new sealed. I don't know if someone's buying them to collect or to actually use or what. It's just, you know, cookie cutters like this one here it makes a Christmas tree and the other one makes a wreath. I mean, it even has the old uh, food coloring in there still in the package. This is kind of interesting. Uh, this one right here makes a Santa and an angel. And then the last one here, uh, what does that make? Oh, here we go. Makes a wreath kit. All right, so uh, I don't remember how much I paid for each, but all three together it was $1.75. So I'm thinking this two, the two small ones were 50 cents each, the bigger one was 75 cents. Uh, anyway, I put them all together and they sold for $24.95 of free shipping. And like I said, I only had $1.75 in them, so that's not too bad. So I actually have more of these. I bought all of them they had. This is like three bags. Then the next one I have, there's going to be two bags in there. And then the last one is just one bag. And, uh, you know, of course the price will drop a little bit as each go. But I thought that was kind of cool that it actually sold. I was, I was a little kind of, you know, iffy if it was actually going to sell or not. And it did. So that's pretty awesome. So anyway, that's how the week started out. Okay, so it's the next day. It's another one of them gloomy rainy days. So the lighting might be terrible. But uh, anyway, I had two more eBay sales. Uh, not too bad. With both items together, I spent $1 and made pretty good money off of them. So, first one here is all taped up, so I will have to show a picture. But this is that Ludwig Speed Keaton pedal. It's like a bass drum pedal from probably, uh, I don't remember when they made them, like 40s, 50s, 60s, somewhere back then, maybe 70s, I don't know. But it's, a, it's an old bass drum pedal, but it's only part of it. It's only the foot pedal part. And uh, anyway... Um, I found this at Goodwill. It was only a dollar, and uh, I looked them up, and they had pretty good value. Even just the even just the foot pedal part actually had good value. If it was the entire pedal and in good condition, you know, it could be fifty, sixty, seventy dollars. But this just being the pedal, it's worth about half that. But I know something that maybe other people into drums and all that don't know, and that is that hot rodders are into these for gas pedals. So whenever I listed mine, not only did I aim it at people into vintage drums, but I aimed it at people into vintage hot rods. I'm not exactly sure which type of person bought it, but it did sell. And I actually asked more money than other people. So what I did is, like I said, pay a dollar. And it sold for $24.95 plus $8.75 shipping. So that's a total of $33.70. So that's a little bit higher. Uh, I think others that were just the bass drum pedal were going for like $25. So I got almost $10 more. And I think that's because of the keywords I use. All right, the next item here. You will not be able to see them because I individually wrapped them all. But you can kind of tell if, you, if the lighting works. You can kind of tell what this is. 
This is that big lot of vintage glasses I got. It was kind of a strange sale. It was the week after these people had an estate sale and they were just having like a regular kind of house rummage slash garage sale just trying to get rid of everything else that was left over because they didn't want to have to spend so much money at the dump. So, you know, everyone's asking, how much for this and how much for this? Oh, I don't know, you know, just give me an offer. And it was like really low prices everything was going for. So I kind of bundled up a few, bundled up a few things that I was interested in. I asked how much, she's like, oh, you can just have those. So she gave these to me for free. So I also got two hubcaps off of Bronco. I thought they were vintage Broncos, but they're like, 80s, 90s Broncos, but they're still worth some money. Also got this voice recorder after I tested it. Uh, it kind of doesn't work, so I might have to sell the parts. But the glasses, I'll show a picture. There's, now I don't remember, 13 or 15 or something like that. A bunch of pairs of glasses. They were all prescriptions, so no one's going to be able to use the lenses. But I think there are people out there that will use it for the frames. And what I did is I aimed it at people into, like, the vintage look or into, um like movie sets, you know, I, I kind of wrote a few things like that on the listing to kind of give them some ideas, you know, for plays or for vintage photo shoots or, you know, whatever. And uh, all these glasses I got for free. I decided to go high because there were some uh, well-known brands. The, the most well-known that I could think of was Christian Dewar was in there. And I looked up vintage, uh, vintage Christian Dewar glasses and there were some, some for like 50, 60, 70 bucks. So I thought, wow, okay, there's some value here. A lot of these are probably just brandless, who knows what. But I'll try to, you know, get pretty good money out of them. So I asked $89.95 plus shipping. They were only up for maybe a week, and they already sold. So they went for $89.95 plus $9.46 shipping, which is a total of $99.41. Just barely under $100 for these. So I thought that was an awesome, awesome flip. Free glasses. The ugliest glasses you've ever seen, just really outdated. My photos on eBay were not that good. My light, it was kind of a day like today. The lighting wasn't so great. So everything's kind of blue looking and they still sold for like a hundred bucks. So anyway, oh, I also forgot, uh, there's one more sale I forgot to write down. Uh, uh, it was kind of an unusual one. I, I put something on eBay and someone contacted me and said, hey, I just live a town over could I buy this as a local sale? So I've never done that before. So that's what we did. We I sold it as a uh, pickup only or whatever, you know, a pickup item. And uh, I don't know, it was kind of weird how we did it. I had to, he just bought it outright and then I gave him money back for shipping. And it's probably, I know it's not the right way to do it on eBay. I'm not sure it's, how it's gonna work out uh, on paper, you know, through PayPal and all that kind of stuff, but whatever. So anyway, I sold it to him. It was a printer, PhotoSmart, uh, 8250, I'll have to show a picture. Um, it comes with the CD, the cable. I turned it on and it ran, but the ink was totally dried out. And of course, I don't have any ink to, to test print it. So I sold it kind of, you know, it, it turns on and all that, but I'm not sure how well it prints. And uh, anyway, he bought it for, it was $47.95 and shipping was going to be $16.50. So I refunded him that. And then I just met him over in town and sold it to him. So that was, I, I, I didn't have it listed as pickup only, but I sold it as a local pickup only. So I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that on eBay. But that's just how we worked it out. And the part that kind of sucks though, is that uh, when it comes to fees, I will pay fees on top on that shipping as well. So I lose out on some money. When I met him, I tried to just work out the deal where I was like, hey, if you want, you can just uh, request to cancel this transaction. I'll do it, refund you, and then you can just pay me cash right now, and I do it for forty-five instead of forty-seven ninety-five. I would make a little. He would save about three dollars, and I would make you know about the same three, four dollars more than the fees that I had to pay. But it didn't work out that way, so whatever. We just let it go. Um, he has my contact information. If um, something goes wrong, it doesn't work. He can still refund it. So, I don't know. It's kind of a weird deal. I shouldn't have done it that way, but I did. And, hey, I, oh, and by the way, that printer was $15 at a garage sale. So, I paid $15, sold it for $47.98, or $47.95. So, that's not too bad. Uh, after fees and all that kind of stuff, I'll probably make just under, probably like 27 or I mean uh, $28 or $29. So, just under $30. Bucks on. So, it was, you know, all right. Not too bad. So, anyway, that was the sales today so far. All right, so it's the next day. Yesterday was actually Halloween, 
and uh, I listed something last night after we were done handing out stuff to trick-or-treaters and it sold in 10 minutes so that tells me two things a it was a really good item that was sought after and B it was uh, underpriced you know I mean if it sells that quick you just have an amazing deal on it and I kind of knew I was underpriced but apparently I was like way more underpriced than I thought okay so here's what it is check it out it's a radar detector okay got this at a garage sale for one dollar this is an escort 9500 IX Passport or Passport S I don't know the Escort Passport 9500 IX now I got this at a garage sale that I've actually been to before this time they were moving though but I went there it was almost exactly a year ago they had a garage sale I bought a couple of heaters some dumbbells a little girl's bike a banana seat bike um, I bought one of those uh, pull behind trailers that you put your kids in uh, for like a you know road bike or whatever and uh, I sold most of it off and uh, anyway I remember the um, bike trailer when I got home I realized it was missing a part so I had to look it up and then I realized hey it's only you know 12 bucks on eBay so when I sold it I just mentioned hey it needs this part but you can get really cheap online on eBay or Amazon or whatever it ended up selling the guy really liked it when he bought it uh, yeah when he bought it and all that kind of stuff okay so anyway that was like a year ago so I go to the sale and I pull up I'm like oh I've been here before okay they had interesting stuff I wonder what they'll have this time so I walk in and it's like a moving sale. So they just have boxes everywhere. It's just full of stuff. She had to kind of dig through it. And then some of the stuff sitting out, just, eh, I don't know. It wasn't quite my thing. And as I'm walking up, the lady's like, hey, did you buy a bike from us last year? And I'm thinking, oh, no, this isn't good. I don't want to confront someone that, you know, I've resold from before. And I was like, uh, I think so. She's like, yeah, it was like a bike trailer. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 I did buy that. I forgot I bought that here. And uh, she's like, yeah, did you know it was missing a part? And I'm thinking, uh-oh, okay. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, when I got home, I realized it was missing a part, but I did find one, and they were only like, you know, $12 on eBay or whatever. And she's like, yeah, uh, I think that's still on my bike. And then she's kind of walked to look for it, and she's like, ah, it's behind stuff, you know, whatever. So I was like, Phew. okay, either she knows I'm, a, you know, I resold their stuff, and she's kind of bringing it up, or... It just happens to be coincidence that she remembers or whatever. So I just kind of act like that didn't happen and I continued walking around. It was a little awkward, but whatever. They're moving. I won't have to ever see them again So because they're moving out of state. Okay, so anyway, I'm walking around. There's boxes everywhere. There's nothing really I'm looking for. They had some tools and like hand tools and jigsaws and saber saws and uh, battery packs and things like that. Some of it could have been good, but it was a little high priced. So anyway, I'm digging through this pile. It has all these cables and wires and old electronics and stuff. And I pull this out. And I'm looking at it. And I'm going, wow, okay, that's interesting. I've never sold a radar detector before. I should look this up. So I look it up. You know, I get on eBay, look at sold comps, you know, the Escort, Passport, 9500IX. And whoa, okay, awesome. This thing used, you know, I might be able to get 50, 60 bucks out of it, something like that. You know, it's kind of old and it's, you know, a little bit scratched up and faded, but, you know, that's a great flip. So I asked the guy, because it was a, a guy and a woman having a sale. I was like, how much? He's like, oh, I don't know, how about a dollar? I said, okay, I'll, I'll take it. So when I went to pay for it, he's like, uh, I said a dollar on that, right? And I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, that was actually a really good top of the line uh, detector back in the day. I said, I think I paid, now I don't remember if he said 300 or 500 dollars. He's like, yeah, I paid like $300 back in the day. It was a really good one. But, uh, you know, I moved on and got some other stuff. So I'm thinking, okay, yeah, I, I know that it's worth good money now. So anyway, I get home and take pictures of it, get it boxed up. I have this huge pile downstairs of stuff I'm still listing. I finally get around to last night getting it up and listed. And it sold in 10 minutes. I was like, wow, okay, that's awesome. And the best part, I got like twice what I thought I was going to get out of it on the high end. Okay, so I looked these up, and if they had the box and all that, some of them were like close to $200 or more, but in this condition, with, you know, these parts used, they were going for like 150 bucks around there or so. Now mine, the suction cups are kind of yellowed, it has some scratches, but it does work. Um, the back, you know, has a little bit of wear, so I thought, eh, I know I saw one that sold for like $175, I should probably not ask that much, I should go... A little under that, you know, we'll see what happens. So I listed it at $144.95 plus shipping, and in 10 minutes it sold. So I had it underpriced. So I probably could have went at like $175, maybe $180. Bucks. So they paid 
and $44.95 plus $11.80 shipping. So that's a total of $156.75, and I paid $1. So that was great. That was totally worth the awkwardness of when I walked into the garage sale and all that. So that is a great flip. I love flips like that. You pay almost nothing, and then it sells immediately for great money. It almost ha It's almost always electronics about this size. The handheld GPSs, radar detectors. I don't find this stuff a lot, but when I do, man, it sells well. So anyway, I need to go ahead and uh, get that ready to ship out because uh, the post office is going to close about half an hour. So I need to go do that. And uh, anyway, I just thought that was awesome. I listed it on Halloween night and it sells in like 10 minutes. So that was a really, really cool flip. All right, so now it's Friday. This morning, I actually did a little bit of garage sailing. I didn't find many at all, maybe four sales. Three of them were does, but the first one was amazing. I found some awesome, awesome stuff. But I also had a sale on eBay. So let me show that to you first. I'll go mail it off. I'll come back and I'll show you the stuff I picked up. Okay, so this is the sale. This is another book lot. I'm beginning to really like book lots. If you can get the right ones, you can get pretty good money. All right, so there's 20, hmm, try to remember now, 22 books in here. Books one through 24, except it's missing book number one and book number 22 of the Sugar Creek Gang. All right, so apparently these are pretty old books. I think originally from maybe the 40s or 50s, but these are paperback versions from, I think, 1970, if I remember right. Uh, yeah, Moody Press Edition, 1970. So it's, you know, almost 1 through 24, pretty close. And uh, anyway, I looked these up, and uh, they had pretty good resale value. So I got them at a garage sale for five bucks. I looked them up. There was a lot of 25 books. So just a few more than I have that sold for $45 plus shipping. So I just did the same thing. I put mine at $44.95 plus shipping yesterday. All right. And they sold today. So they went quick. And uh, anyway, they sold for $44.95 plus $4.19 shipping. So that's a total of $49. 14 and I paid five bucks. That's a great flip. So all three lots of books that I bought really cheap all sold quickly and for good money. So I will definitely keep my eye out on, uh, you know, for them. Uh, today, one of the garage sales uh, was like an ex-librarian who happened to have a ton of books and she had a lot of them. I was looking through, but I didn't quite see anything that caught my eye, but I'm definitely keeping my eye out for them, especially at garage sales. At a thrift store, they might know what they have sometimes, but at a, a garage sale, people are just getting rid of books cheap. And uh, man, if you find the right ones, they're worth really, really good money. So let me go ahead. I will go mail this. I will come back and I will show you the stuff I picked up today. It's really, really cool. All right, so I just got back from the post office. Here is all the stuff I bought today. It's another one of those days when I just don't have time to write it all down, so I'll just show you. But anyway, I got this all at one sale. And, uh, man, it was, like, totally unexpected, and they had some awesome stuff. The guy was selling off a lot of his childhood toys, maybe some from his wife or something. But, uh, anyway, found some really, really cool stuff. And, in total, I spent $62. $44 for the stuff on the table. And then I took it out to my van. I thought, you know what, I should go back in and see if there's anything else. And then I spent, I think, 18 on the bag in here. But a lot, and the problem was that when I went to the sale, I couldn't get uh, internet service inside the building because it was like a big garage thing where it was. So I had, I knew some of it was going to be good. And then other items I kind of guessed on and they were not so great, especially stuff in the bag. So I might as well show that to you first. Uh, right off the bat, when I walked in, they had racks of clothes and uh, the one that caught my eye. And like I said before, I don't really like selling clothes anymore, but this caught my eye. It's L.L. Bean, and it's a denim shirt. I know some denim shirts can do really, really well, especially like Levi's denim shirts. And I couldn't get service, so I thought, hey, this is only a dollar. It's a L.L. Bean. It's denim. It's got to do well. I get home. I look it up. This is like maybe $10, $12, maybe $15 on a good day. So it was not a good buy. I was thinking it was going to be like $30, $35. Bucks. So... Not such a great buy. Okay, 
I also have this right here. Actually, let me take this out. This is something different. I'll put up there. Okay, so this right here, the guy had these envelopes full of old maps. So let me find a cool one here. There's a bunch in here. Um, like here we go. They're from like the 70s and 80s road maps. So Nevada. There's like one from Mississippi. Here's Texas. I mean, check that. It's super cool and retro. Uh, anyway, I, he didn't have a price on these. There's the, there's a bunch in here too. I mean, there we go. New Mexico. So he didn't have a price. And then when he priced them later, he said five bucks. I paid it. That was not a good buy either. So I will absorb the cost into something else because I looked up old road maps and they're going for like 10, 12 bucks free shipping. So, you know, to turn five into 10, not really worth my time. I mean, I'll make some money, but eh, not that great. So, um, I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. Hopefully there's some in here that someone just really wants. Maybe I can market it right. Uh, you know, mention like uh, family vacation, national lampoons, you know, something like that. If you want it for props or, you know, for a movie or something, maybe I'll attract one of these people. I can get more money out of it. Maybe I'll see if I can get, you know, 15 to 20 instead of like 10 bucks. But I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure if it'll work out or not. Okay, these are pretty cool. I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of toys up here. But these two were like all of these were in the first room along with that shirt and the uh, road maps and then uh, the rest of the stuff in the bag was in the big garage part. And I looked through, he had really cool stuff, but a lot of it, he kind of knew what he had, so it was a little bit overpriced. Or maybe not overpriced, but it was priced right. But anyway, I found these two things. I'd never heard of them before, but the brand caught my attention. If I can get it here, Galoob. All right, so if you remember a while back, I had those, uh, I mean, I don't remember what they're called now, the monster trucks that had the um, claws come out of the wheels. Uh, anyway, those were Galoob. I know Galoob made micro machines, so it was like a pretty big ba uh, brand back in the day. So I see these called sneak previews. I don't remember them at all. Apparently they take batteries, so I have to test them. But these are little viewers, so you, you peek through them. Let's see if I can even make it work here. Let's see which direction it's supposed Okay, that's not even the good one. The blue one is Batman and Robin. So, okay, let me see if you can kind of... I mean, I don't have it focused really well, but that blob right there on the right is Batman, and that's Robin right there. So, I, eh, there you go. Maybe you can see a little bit. But anyway, it's got a little reel in there. Somehow you put a battery, you click it, you can kind of see little... I don't know, images or whatever. So I don't know if they work or not. But uh, anyway, I think I paid a dollar a piece, which seemed maybe a bit high, but I didn't know. I'd never even heard of these before. So anyway, I get home, I look them up. There's a red one of these. It's in good condition. It sold for like $16.95 or something like that. It was like $16 or $17. I was really surprised. So, I mean, this one here is broke on top and it's missing the door for the battery. This one here, the battery thing is taped shut. So Probably won't do real well with these. I might get 10, 12 bucks, something like that. So, eh, turn $2 into maybe 10 or 12. Not that great, but I just never seen these before. I thought they were pretty cool. Okay, last two items in the bag are really interesting as well. Let's see if I can get them out. Oh, you know what? Here we go. I'm not missing the door. It just fell in there, so that's good. All right. Okay, so these two things. Let me get them open for you so you can kind of see what's going on here. All right, so I saw them as I was just about to walk out. I see Honda and I thought, oh, okay, interesting. That could be like uh, some type of Honda, you know, motorcycle part or something. And then I see Wing Elite and I'm like, what in the world is that? And I look at it, I'm like, whoa, okay, this thing's pretty cool. So apparently uh, back in the day and I'm trying to remember where the date is. There we go. 1984, but back in the day when you'd buy a big Honda, the guy said his dad bought a uh, Honda Goldwing. You'd get this. You get a membership card. It's kind of a credit card looking thing, uh, a keychain key tag, a member pin, and an associate member pin. So I got two of them. So this one's just for a guy named Gary. This one's for, you know what? Actually, they're the same. Okay, so this one was from 1986. This one's from 1985. Okay, interesting. So, huh, okay, so that's the keychain, but it's missing whatever that is, and then here, that is not a keychain, so I don't know what the deal is, but anyway, 
Um, I asked how much, he didn't know. He said, how about 10 bucks for both? So basically $5 each. These end up probably being a pretty good deal. I looked them up. I think I can get like 20, 25 bucks each, maybe 30, maybe. But what I'll probably do is just sell them together. Maybe someone won some out there and try to get like 40, 45 bucks for both because they're kind of missing some stuff. But I've just never seen those before. I thought that's kind of interesting. Okay, so that was stuff I bought on the second round, which was, you know, eh, it was okay. But this stuff is the awesome stuff, okay? Now, I'll start with this, a GameCube. I have sold a GameCube just like this before. That was just the cube, no cords, no way to test it. And I couldn't remember if it went for good money or not. So when I saw this one at the sale for $4, I was like, I got more than $4 out of that one, so that should be pretty good. Also, I think it does have the, um, I think it's like a memory, I think, if I remember right, there's like a memory expansion pack thing or something on the bottom, possibly. So that might actually bump the value a little bit. But it was four bucks. And uh, anyway, uh, I looked these up and I'd have to sell parts only because I can't test or anything like that. They're going for like maybe 10 to $15. I was like, ah, oh, that's not good. But I just now remembered, like I said, it has that thing on the bottom, which I think is like an expansion thing. Maybe not, I could be wrong, but I think that might've been what it was. So I don't know, maybe that will bump up value. So that was not such a great buy. Okay, I also got this. You know, eh, you know what, I'll wait on that. Okay, so I walk in the room uh, when I first go to the sale and that's where they had the clothes racks and then uh, in kind of this little offset room, there was some uh, toy boxes and tables of toys. And I looked at them. The first thing caught my attention was Ghostbusters and Hit Sticks. All right. So I'm not, like I said, everything on the table here ended up being $44. Four of it's here. So all the rest of the stuff's 40 bucks. I'm not sure how I'm going to break down the price because some of them don't go for quite as much as I can. I got to say that's the most money. So I'll absorb most of the money off of that. But anyway, Hit Sticks. I remember these as a kid. I didn't have them but friends did, I remember playing with them. I don't remember ever seeing the box, so I'm sure it was some type of uh, Christmas gift to uh, you know one of my friends and they just got them out and threw away the box. So I've never even seen the box before. Here we go, 1988. But I mean, how cool in the 80s can you get? So let's take it out, hopefully it's all in there. I, had, I didn't even open up the boxes, I just grabbed it. And uh, anyway, I looked these up. I think they were going for around $30 or up in 30 something plus shipping. So that would be a pretty cool flip. Okay, so then I see this in one of the toy boxes and it's an old Lego uh, box here. And I remember this style and then I open it up, I'm like, whoa, okay, this is cool. So there's like a bunch of He-Man figures in here. So you got a couple of Skeletors, a couple, actually, well, there we go, three He-Mans and two Skeletors. So I will just sell these as a lot. And Scott, oh, there we go. We got, I don't remember this guy's name, but he's in there too. And then there's some weapons. So I'm not exactly sure what I am paying for this. Like I said, I'll just average it out, but I'll just sell this as a lot, you know, just as is. And I'm pretty sure I can still get pretty good money out of this. Um, I looked them up. Some lots were going for $15 for a couple of these. If you had a lot more, you could get $50, $60. It just kind of depends. I hopefully can get maybe, mm, I don't know, 20, 30 something, something like that. We'll just have to see. Not totally sure. But that's pretty cool. That's the first time I've found any He-Man toys. And I don't know if you remember these or not. This was a big thing in the 80s when they'd have the chess piece or sometimes it was cars and somehow when you hit them, it would get damage, you know, and then you hit it again and you get even more damage. So that was a big thing back in the 80s. These are pretty cool. I don't see a date on them. I have to look them up close. 1981, 83, or is it, I don't know. It's right there. I have to look at them, but hopefully they're old enough that they have good value. Okay, also in the toy box, there's this stuff. Now you may be wondering why in the world that I buy boxes, but if you look up old vintage Transformers, if they have the boxes, they go for even more money. So someone out there is gonna want just the boxes to maybe complete one of theirs, all right? And they're in pretty decent condition as well. 
And uh, anyway, so there's three transformers, and there's even a GoBot. And if I remember right, when I sold the GoBot lot a while back, I actually had this one. So it's kind of interesting. Apparently, it's like maybe a, it's made by Monogram, which makes me think maybe it's a model. So that's kind of interesting. But it has the instructions, has the full box. Uh, this isn't really a Transformers box, so I'll probably sell this separately. I don't really know what I can get. I, when I looked up comps, I actually found this one on eBay, but it was complete. It had the toy and all that kind of stuff. And it was like 30 or 40 bucks. So the box itself may not be that great, but it's so small and light. Maybe I could get 10, 12 bucks out of it. Maybe 15, something like that. I don't know. Okay, the Transformers. What do we have here? So we have a Transformers Autobot Maintenance Hoist. So apparently that's what you get. It's the robot and it turns into some type of truck. All right, and then we got Transformers Autobot Strategist Trail Breaker. Okay, that's interesting. It's the robot and it turns into kind of like a four wheel drive truck with a camper shell. And then we have Transformers Dinobot Desert Warrior Snarl. Now this is the one it probably holds more value, you know, when it's an actual, I don't know, I just don't think the truck and all that are as good. But I'll just sell this as one lot. Someone out there will want it, and uh, who knows what this could go for. Maybe I could get 10 bucks a piece or something like that, so I could sell it for 30, 35 bucks. That'd be kind of cool. Okay, when I got the whole lot of things, the guy threw this in for free. I thought this was super cool. And I uh, just now noticed the graphics are kind of coming off. But, I mean, when I think of water bottles when I was a kid, it was this style. All right, you got the bendy straw. And, I mean, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, pretty cool. 1990, not too bad. I would have been eight, so that would have been uh, right up my alley. So I would have thought this was super cool. I looked this up. I saw a red one, so that would have been Raphael. It said it was brand new, so I'm assuming it was in really, really good condition. It sold, I think, for $17.95. Now, I doubt I will get near that on mine because of the scrapes and all that, but who knows? Maybe I could get 10 bucks or something like that, so I thought that was kind of cool. All right, we'll come over here, and this I had never heard of before, a Make It and Bake It Oven. But if you look at it, it kind of looks like Creepy Crawlers. I remember Creepy Crawlers, but apparently this one's aimed at girls. But I thought this was interesting that this is the special Care Bear Suncatcher included. So it's, it's a little bit special edition. I saw some of these on eBay. And the ones that did, they had something else right here. It's a different label. So there was no Care Bear included. And they did not go for super great money, like 25 30 maybe 35 bucks. But I did see one exactly like this the same box with the care bear special edition one or whatever and they had it listed for 65 plus shipping and they took a best offer so i don't know how much it went for there said there it was complete so i will have to look through this and see if it's complete also they seem to have more money when they had these which there we go this one has it the extra beads and parts like that so okay awesome very very cool so yeah so I'll have to test it, see if it turns on. I'm sure whoever gets it will be interested in something like that. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, they all had little extra parts or whatever, so this one has one, so that's good. So I think I can get really good money on this. And I think because of the Care Bear thing here, which hopefully it's in there, if it is, it should be worth more money. Okay, here's where the real money is. When I saw these sitting here, uh, sitting on the table, I was just like, no way. I mean, in the box, I didn't even, I'm assuming it's full. It feels like it's in there. I didn't even look. I got so excited, I just bought it. But come on, originals, uh, original Ghostbusters toys, how cool is this? So the first one here, Ghost Zapper. I don't even remember this at all, but it looks like it actually projects ghosts. It's probably what it really does, but I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so I guess you go hunting around and looking for ghost that you project on the wall and uh, don't know how much I paid for it I have to figure it out but you know, let me look for a date there we go 1984 1986 that's pretty cool I looked these up I think they were selling for 30 something dollars it might have been like 39 dollars plus shipping somewhere around there I'm not sure but it's pretty cool it's kind of a shame it has the sticker on there 
But I don't know if I want to take that off or not. I don't know. They come from JCPenney. I don't know. Because it, you know, it ruins the graphic. You can't see the front graphic. But I don't know. We'll just have to see. I, I'd be afraid to heat it up and it peels off and it ruins the finish or it leaves a residue behind or something. So I don't know. Probably just leave it as is. But this is the big boy right here. This is the real money. The Proton Pack. The actual backpack and the little blaster thingy and all that. So hopefully it has all the parts in here. Really, really, really hoping it's complete. There we go. It kind of shows you right there. So you got the backpack, the actual blaster, and then the PKE meter. And it looks like it's supposed to have an armband and ID card too. So if, it, if this is complete, it's really, really good money. So I looked them up. I saw two that had sold recently. One went for $84.95 plus shipping. And then the most recent one sold for $100 plus shipping. It was like $120 total or something like that. So I can absorb, I mean, everything I bought today, $62. I can sell this, call it $62 and still make money. And then everything else is free money. But uh, I don't know. We'll just have to see how it works. But this is super cool. I don't remember this packaging at all. I remember Ghostbusters toys. I've probably said many videos before. I was kind of a weird kid. I was not really into, I liked playing with my friends' toys, but I didn't really like having them myself. I wanted to build clubhouses and ride bikes and chop stuff with a hatchet and things like that and not really get the toys. But now looking back, this is, this is kind of a weird graphic. Like you got the really cool Ghostbusters graphic here. You got the kid on there, like every toy. But then the Ghostbusters themselves were like super cartoony. I don't know. Just I don't remember it being like that. But this is the real deal. So that's super cool. There we go. Same thing. 1984, 1986. So anyway, super cool find. It was in my little rinky-dink town. I never imagined that I would have found this today when I went out. I didn't really feel like going out. But as soon as I walked in and saw this and saw hit sticks i was like no way you know hopefully they're not asking too much because i am going to buy all this stuff and i bought everything cool he had so anyway uh that is what i picked up today there might be a couple sales tomorrow i'm not even sure if i'm going to go or not they're not looking so great but i got a lot of work ahead of me so <laughs> let me go ahead and get ready and uh, get it all cleaned up and listed and all that kind of stuff well i was looking at this gamecube and i was wrong about this thing on the bottom looking at it and check that out it's a Game Boy player so you can put Game Boy games in there and play them so that's pretty cool I have to look that up that might I think it's still going to give more value to the GameCube so hopefully my uh, four dollars I paid for it will turn out to be a pretty good sale all right so local sales have been basically non-existent this week but finally someone is coming for this little table that I got a weekend or two ago I think I showed it I got it for free at a garage sale I just threw it up for $10. It needs some work, but it's got pretty cool design. And uh, anyway, they should be here in about five minutes. So I'll make a quick 10 bucks off of this thing. They got for free, so that's not too bad. Okay, so the weekend is now over. It's another rainy, gloomy day. I'm trying to use my uh, photo shooting lights to make it a little brighter in here, but there's probably some weird shadows and stuff. Whatever. Okay, so this weekend, actually Sunday, I had a bunch of sales and I had one this morning to close out the weekend, so let me show you what sold. So the first item here is in this box, and it is a set of four of these Dodge hubcaps. I got them at a garage sale. Uh, they had four of them. I paid a dollar a pair. Kind of weird, but basically I paid two dollars for four of them. And uh, they are off of, uh, I don't remember now, like late 90s Dodge trucks or something like that. Probably like the cheaper model, the V6s and things like that with steel wheels. Anyway, hubcaps do really well. These are super clean, not scratched up or anything. They're a little dusty. I cleaned them up, but man, they're in like really, really good condition. And anyway, like I said, I paid $2 and they ended up selling for $49.95 with free shipping. So that was a nice sale. I will definitely be looking for more hubcaps if they're in good condition. Okay, next time it sold, I got these at a garage sale a couple weeks ago. These are Sperry boots. Uh, I don't exactly know what type of boot you'd call these. When I see them, I always think of like duck hunting, although who knows what they really are. But, uh, you know, it's got the rubber bottom and all that kind of stuff. The sticker tells me they were from Ross, and uh, I saw them at a garage sale. They were $15.00. 
The lady said she bought them for her husband. She bought 11 and a halfs and they were either too big or too small. I don't remember which. And she said she's the type that hates returning stuff and she just kept waiting and putting it off to the side and then it got too long and she couldn't return them. So she put them in a yard sale, sold them for 15 bucks. She said she paid $39 for them or something like that. So that immediately told me, okay, there's probably some value here. So I looked them up and they did have decent value. So uh, I had them listed for $54.95 of free shipping. And apparently I put best offer on there. I don't remember doing that, but someone offered me $50. So I decided to take it. So paid $15. They sold for $50 plus $8.80. So that's a total of $58.80. So that is not too bad. All right, next item that sold I've had for a long time probably around a year. I just knew this was going to be an awesome sale, and it wasn't. Uh, all right, you're not really going to be able to see it. This is an on or an ONN alarm clock. I'll have to show you a picture. It's just a basic black alarm clock that, I don't know, I might play CDs or something. I don't remember. I, once I look at the picture, I'll know. But anyway, uh, I got this at a, well, yeah, it was a garage sale, but it was like a like a multi-family rummage slash garage sale type thing. They actually had really awesome stuff. That was the first garage sale where I found a pair of Ray-Bans like for 50 cents or a dollar and they sold for really good money. I don't remember now, like $55 or something like that. They had some pretty cool stuff mixed in with just your average garage sale stuff, but then they actually had good stuff. Anyway, I paid $5 for the arm clock. When I looked it up, there was one that had sold for like 27 28 plus shipping there was one that had sold for like 35 plus shipping so I thought hey perfect you know if I can sell it for 34.95 plus shipping I'll basically make 30 bucks on it you know and subtract some fees and things like that I had it listed there for a long time didn't happen drop the price then I would drop the price then I dropped the price I finally had it down to 1995 plus shipping and it sold so they also paid 847 shipping so that's a total of $28.42. So it still sold for about $30, but you know, the price had dropped a bit since I uh, first bought them like almost a year ago. Okay, this next item, I have it wrapped up, so I have to show you a picture because it looks like nothing right now. But this is another one of those Reebok nylon jackets. Probably from the 90s, maybe early 2000s, but I'm thinking this is like late 90s. It has the look, but this is about as plain as you would want to get one. You either want this or you want it like more in your face, either super bright colors or it says it's from the 80s or the 90s or just something crazy about it. But you don't want anything more plain than this, but it still sold well. I sold one in the past that the white around the um, sleeves had yellowed a bit, but this one was in awesome condition. So it's black with red and white details. The sleeve is like a... Um, two layer and it's white on the outside and when you compress the sleeve down you see the Reebok logo up here it's kind of a cool little detail anyway I paid three dollars at a garage sale and it sold for $37.95 of free shipping right around that thirty to forty dollars many times around thirty five dollars is what you can get out of some of these vintage uh, uh, nylon jackets and they are almost always overlooked at yard sales I mean people buy them if they need a jacket but no, you know, if anyone's a reseller, they're not thinking about these. And I have done really well with them. I mean, the best one I ever sold is that one I showed a little while back. I don't know, it was a video or two ago that sold for 75 bucks. And, uh, but most of them, you know, they're like $35, $40, something like that. So that's pretty good money for, I mean, I paid three on this, which is high. Usually you get them for like a quarter or 25 or uh, 50 cents or a dollar or something like that. So that's a pretty cool sale. Okay, next item that sold, I got this at a thrift store, and it is an Orvis shirt, really heavy, like flannel material, and uh, Orvis makes awesome, like, outdoor uh, rugged luggage, and, you know, they're, like, aimed at fishermen and things like that, so I'm sure they sell clothing and fishing vests and all that kind of stuff, but this was a shirt. Uh, it was, I think it was $6.99 at a um, uh, thrift store, but I also had to pay some tax, so in total I paid $7.64. But I knew it was probably going to have some value, so I went ahead and bought it. 
And it did. It sold for $29.95 of free shipping. I paid seven, so it'd be all right. Flip after fees and all that. I'll probably make just like right around 20 bucks, maybe a little under, something like that. So it's not too bad. And then the last item I actually just got listed last night and it sold already. And what's weird is I was charging almost double what other people were and it was still sold. But what I noticed is that the person, there was like one or two people selling these in brand new condition, but they were coming out of China. So I'm assuming whoever bought this didn't want to wait, so they paid double. But it's this <laughs> right here, a little Nintendo Kirby plush. It's a small one. Apparently this one's about five inches or so, five, six inches. And they make one that's bigger, it's about eight inches. The uh, one that's like eight inches, uh, it only goes for like hmm, 15 to 17, 18, something like that. And this size, the smaller one, which by the way, I only paid 25 cents at a garage sale, still has tags and everything on there, so it's brand new. Uh, it sold for $9.95. Now the people from China were selling them for like $5.50, $5.99, something like that. So I was almost double and it sold in less, I mean, it sold in less than 12 hours. I mean, it went quick. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And uh, anyway, that was all of the sales for the weekend. They all come in yesterday afternoon and last night and then one today. It's kind of strange. I'm happy to get rid of some stuff. None of them were uh, like super amazing sales. Um, probably the best one was Dodge Hubcaps. You know, get 50 bucks out of something I only pay $2 for. But uh, hey, at least some stuff selling. And uh, oh, I got so much stuff in this room, it's not even funny. And I got a, I listed a ton of stuff this weekend. It's downstairs that I got to bring up here. I got to figure out how to store it or something because it's getting a little overwhelming. So anyway, at least some things sold. Okay, so if you like these videos, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment of what you think. And then go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done that already to keep up with more of these videos. So anyway, thanks for checking it out.